Hello and welcome back to the Busy Mum Club. Hello, welcome back to episode seven. 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 I can't say seven without doing that. Oh, Strictly's never been the same since Len Goodman's not on it. Oh, I know. He was the best. He was the best. I tried to watch Dancing on Ice the other day. Oh, I've been in and out of Dancing on Ice. Like, I normally like it, but then if I'm not in, I won't worry about, like, catching up with it. Yeah. So... But none of the judges are that hot. It makes it a bit boring. No, I do like Ashley Banjo, though. I do like him. Yeah, to look at. Oh, yes, to look at. He's single now, as well. Really? Mmm. He's single. Uh, married. Uh, I know, uh, yeah. <laughs> We would just like to apologise. We are filming today with my toddler in tow. So, so you might hear her in the background. Or she might even come in and say hi. If you can hear her or if you can faintly hear Bluey, that is why. We've got it on really quiet for her. She's probably like, I can't hear, hear it. it. Tell your chicken. They smell good. <laughs> you want that <laughs> Always have snacks. We always say this. <laughs> Look, you have to bring it back so I can open it. <laughs> Done it or not? Oh, toddler for sale, free dog oh. at home. She doesn't want upstairs, does she? No. No, no, she doesn't. Oh. I was like, she likes our stairs. She tries to go up them all the time. She is obsessed with Hannah's stairs, especially as Hannah doesn't have a stair gate or anything. Yeah. It's just like, that's yeah. hot. Snack. Oh, you're gonna have the chicken. Good idea. Good choice, they smell so good. She loves fridge raiders. They are good. They are a good snack. I love fridge raiders. I can't eat them. For all ages, oh. That's no, I can smell her eating them. What I don't. Oh. She's uh, definitely gonna injure herself hi. today. Like she's fallen over twice already. She's tired. <laughs> she just walked into the TV. Uh, if you touch that, I will put you in the bin. <laughs> So we thought today we'd talk about routines today because again we have quite different routines and things so we thought about what would be quite little blah 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 Put your teeth back in. <laughs> be a good one to talk about. Especially as a lot of things whenever I see mums post things on like the mum Facebook pages that I can't mm. watch your routine and people get really there's like a, such a debate about routines as well. Yeah. Yeah. People are like you have to do that, like you have to have such a strict routine, otherwise it's never gonna work. And some people are like, oh airy fairy, go with the blow. Mm. So I think I fall somewhere in the middle of those two. Yeah, I think it depends what's good for you really. I think you've got to work out what your child's like, what your home situation's like, and then go from there, haven't you? you yeah. Can't just everyone can't have the same routine it just wouldn't work but i'm going to go back your routine first yeah so please. we don't we don't we do have a routine and we don't have a routine mm. morning we definitely don't um yeah. it is something i'm trying to work on if you follow me on tiktok you'll know i'm trying to get my life together and get <laughs> up and earlier and out the house before 10 a.m just it's just She's getting worse. The older she gets, the worse it is to get out the house oh it does get better Ish. like when she was tiny she didn't have many opinions about life, so mm. we could... But now it's slightly harder. Yeah. But um, we tend to... Our evening routine tends to be the same, but it does fluctuate a little bit. We tend to sort of have dinner, have a bath, mm -hmm. have wine down, a bottle, story, and then yeah. bed. Mm -hmm. um, she's rubbish at going to sleep, so I do find myself sitting on her bedroom floor for a half an hour. Oh, but God. It's getting better. I can now just sit... I sit on her squishy, she's got like a squishy play area. Aww. I sit on that with a coffee while she goes blind and she just That's sits so Do you not talk to her or do you? No, no, no just sit there. Just sit there in silence. Mm. She just likes to know that I'm there. Mm. Um, but then it has to change sometimes. Like if my husband's away and I've got to work, my parents will have her. Mm. And they live, what, half hour away from where I work. So yeah. by the time I get back, she's better off having a bath and dinner at my parents' house. And then we won't leave my mum's till gone seven with the hope that she'll fall asleep in the car. <laughs> And if she doesn't fall asleep in the car, do you want me to open those ones? If she doesn't fall asleep in the car, then she won't be far off going to bed when we get home. But then there's other nights where I have every intention of having a normal night, but I need to pop to the salon. Yeah. So I'll always try and tie these things in with bedtime, mm -hmm. so that if we go out late, she will just fall asleep in the car. Yeah. Is yeah. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll always try and tie things in with bedtime and stuff I yeah think the most non-routine we have is lunch yeah lunch yeah we just eat lunch when whenever yeah so like yesterday she didn't really have a massive lunch she had mainly just like snacky bits yeah and then had dinner but she'll always have breakfast and dinner and then throughout the day it'd be but then the other day we went out for lunch and she ate all of her lunch when we were out so oh, that's good it does depend i don't think we have a set routine mm. we are getting to the age where I can't just go round people's houses in the evening yeah. and she'll just sit and chill on my lap or fall asleep or play. She does 
Mm. If it gets past sort of eight o'clock, she does start to get quite tired. Yeah, and which now. Yeah, which if we're at my parents' house is a bit different. Yeah, if oh you're, yeah. At like, someone else's house, yeah. yeah. No, definitely. That again does, as they get older, I would say you can stay out later as they get older. Um, so you like you can sometimes in the evening if you go out like we went out to a party um, on Saturday so we actually didn't get home until about no. half ten eleven um, and then he went straight to sleep but obviously normally he's in bed by half eight ish is when he goes to bed but yeah so some nights when they're older it's not too bad if you yeah. have like a party or a special occasion or something like that like Christmas she was up till one in the morning, both Christmas Day oh, and Boxing Jesus Day. Christ, I can't even make it to one o'clock in the morning. Like, by the time we had, like, all packed up and left, because we were at either of our parents both days. So yeah. By the time we packed up and left there, yeah, she wasn't going to bed till nearly half no. one too. There's always a lot going on there, isn't there, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. It's very overwhelming, isn't it, I think, for them. They get past the point of them wanting to go to sleep. I yeah. Because they just She get... has really bad phone Yeah. Time. Oh god, don't all kids, literally, Eli's the same. Oh yeah, if I'm down here and he's upstairs trying to go to sleep, he's like, hello? Yeah, like, if he hears the door go, so like if I have a client in the evening and he's upstairs, he has to come downstairs and I always say to them, wait for it, and then you hear the feet. Or him like, bum sliding down the stairs. Yeah, he's not quiet, your child. Like, oh, no, he, fairy elephant to the rescue. He is literally, like, when he's upstairs, like when he runs around, I'm like, what is he doing up there? They were like, was it last week? They were, we were recording and they were upstairs, I'm like, he's going to come through the ceiling yeah. in a minute. Yeah, we're like, what are they doing? We just... <laughs> Kind of just as bad. No. I do find with her, we're at a bit of an age now where she does need to go to bed and we do need to have that little bit of yeah. a Like at your wedding, for instance, mm. what was she like, eight months old? No. No, she was older than that. She was so pretty cute. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she was when she like 18 months. Was she? Or 16, 15, something around there. Yeah. And um, she did eventually just pass out in her pusher. Yeah. yeah. Her out into my husband. <laughs> um, but. Uh, so I think some days, if like that was a busy day for her, like she was running around loads, and I think she just yeah. passed out. Mm. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're not the best at sticking for a routine, are we, Boo Boo? No, then I don't think that's a bad thing. Sometimes I don't think like we want to go on holiday this year, and I think that the 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 slight lack of routine we have will help with something like that because. I'm not spending my holiday making sure that she's still in bed by half past seven. Oh no, you can't do that on a holiday. Like that's one I thing. I want to be drinking te- <laughs> tequila at seven o'clock. But that's what I think as well. Again, with the routine, just my personal opinion. Those sort of things, you shouldn't make him go to bed like that because you're making memories. Yeah. Like, I think you shouldn't be like, right now we are on holiday, but you have to be in bed by seven o'clock. I just don't think <laughs> you were never made to escape. No, when you're on holiday, I just don't think it, it works, and they won't want to because they're excited, aren't they? Like when we went camping last year, the kids did. We did make them go to bed eventually, so then we had like adult time in the evening. But it was about eight, nine o'clock, so it wasn't like you know they had a little bit of time, and then they just still went in the tents and they went on their phones when they were still charged. They did die towards the end. They all hated that. <laughs> no charging facilities. Um, but yeah, so I think when you're on holiday, it is okay not to have a routine. But then again, if you're on holiday... Oh. Um, but yeah, I think on holiday, when you're on holiday, I just think it's good to like just let them do what they want in, in no. a, you know, in a no way. No one has a routine. Like no, that. definitely not. But even as an adult, you don't have a routine when you're on holiday. No, no. I, you just kind of go, go with the flow on holiday. You've got to. But um, yeah, we kind of have a routine. We're, well, we do and we don't, because obviously if you've watched our podcast a few times ago, obviously Eli's autistic, so he likes the routine, so there's certain things we have to have a routine for, and if we don't have a routine, then that's just all hell break loose. Like, like it just completely, yeah. completely throws him off. Is she up the stairs? Ivy? No, no. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so it just throws him off. So like, say if I say to him, like, right, we're going to go to the shop, no. and then we're going to go to my mum's. Um, or the other one, so like, okay, we're going to go to some mums and then we're going to go to the shop. And if I go to the <laughs> shop first, he then will think we're not going to Nice Ons. So oh. it's just kind of you have to do it in an order. And it's even to the point, like, if I say we're meeting so and so today and then it doesn't happen, that's annoying because he'll just be like, ah. So I know there's some people I'm like, but I won't tell them until we know we're definitely going because otherwise it's just annoying because he'll just get upset and he won't understand that they've had to do something else or, yeah. you know. But um, day to day life, we do like in the morning. That's kind of like I tend to get, always get up before Eli does, and because I like to have a cup of tea and come down and watch a bit of TV before he gets up. And then he'll come down. He'll come down and have his breakfast. He'll go on his phone for a little bit. 
will then get him dressed and then he'll go to school. So that kind of is like, and that's what he does every morning because when he wakes up, he's he's a bit like Connor. He's not a morning person. No, Ivy's definitely not a morning no, person. He just wants to like chill and do what he wants to do. He kind of just wants to do what he wants to do in the morning. So we always. <laughs> we always um, make sure he watches his phone and stuff. <laughs> it's good for him to have that time though, to like, yeah. just to chill, yeah. yeah. Um, and then when he obviously then he goes to school, and then when we get home from school, he'll always will either go to the park, um, or then he'll have dinner as soon as he gets in. Because you'll find this when she goes to school, they're hungry. When they get back, they are so hungry. Even now, as she goes to nursery, they ha she has dinner at nursery mm. uh, about half four. I think they have their dinner. Yeah. It's my miss. And she's still hungry some days. I'm so impressed with what she eats when she gets home. I know. It's, they are. I think it's just where they're busy and they're doing stuff. They're just constantly, constantly hungry. But yeah, so he'll always have dinner when he gets home. And it will either be chicken nuggets and chips and peas. Or it'll be toast yeah. and like, you know, fruit and stuff. Because obviously he doesn't eat very much. So that'll be the two. You like beans on toast, don't you? Oh, I love beans on toast. Oh, with an egg on top. Good protein. Oh. Um, excuse me. Um, but yes, yeah, so we do that, and then um, night time we try and have a bath. Um, he'll have a bath first, and then he'll get in his pajamas, and then at seven o'clock he goes upstairs. That's that the thing. So he always goes upstairs around seven ish, um, and then he'll be allowed to go on his phone for about an hour, depending on how we, you know, get on. So then we try and take off him by eight o'clock. So he's then going to sleep at eight o'clock. Yeah. So he has to go on his phone to watch YouTube. That's again another routine he's got again to just chill out. Um, so yeah, he does that and then he goes to bed. He used to be really good at going to bed. We, but now he's just not. I think it's the FOMO thing. He just doesn't want to go to bed, and it's a struggle to get him to go to bed. So that's what we think. If he goes upstairs at seven, he's upstairs. So at least then we have time. He's upstairs. We'll watch something, have dinner. It's where he doesn't eat or we eat. We eat after he's gone to bed because there's just no yeah. point eating when he's down here. He doesn't like the smell of the food and the stuff, so it's just easier to eat when he's upstairs. Um, but yeah, and then that's the star routine. He has swimming on a Monday, so that's obviously always a Monday thing that he does. And he now does construction club after school on a Tuesday. Oh, that's I know. So cute. It's so cute. They've got these really foam brick things and they build stuff. That's all it is. But he loves it. And um, my mum picks him up on a Tuesday, so he knows because I work on a Tuesday, Wednesday. So his routine on a Tuesday is he goes to school, goes to construction club, then nanny someone will pick him up and either bring him home or take him back to hers for a bit. And then on Wednesday, either my mum or Connor's dad picks him up and then he gets to McDonald's on a Wednesday. I'd say uh, the days that I work and she goes to nursery are probably our two most routine, structured yeah. days. So yeah. like, on a Tuesday, she has swimming. So we'll get up, mm -hmm. walk the jog, go yeah. to swimming. We'll play at the gym for a while and she has her pre-nursery snack lunch mm -hmm. there yeah and then she'll fall asleep in the car i'll run home and get changed and yeah. she won't wake up until i get to nursery oh, and then i'll take her to nursery i'll go to work i'll go pick her up about i usually get there about quarter to ten to six yeah we'll come i live ten minutes from nursery so we'll come mm. home she'll have a snack yeah. i'll run her a bath mm -hmm. Because obviously, by the time we get home at six o'clock, she goes to bed at seven, just gone seven. Any yeah. later than that, and you're getting into like devil child territory. Short window between um, her going to bed, her coming home from nursery and going to bed without it getting into like devil child territory because yeah. it is only an hour. Yeah. That's the thing, like, like, we find that if we go like on a Sunday to my mum's, we normally get back late from mum. So he comes back and then he goes straight upstairs to go on his phone to bed. But yeah, there's some days we don't. We're back later than what we would like, um, but we try and stick to routine as much as we can. Now he's getting older, um, but the weekend it's out out of the way because obviously we go to both parents, so we, we're back later than what we normally are on a weekend. Yeah, like this weekend I worked, so she was at my mum's. Shoes. Shoes. She was at my mum's Saturday. And so we ended up staying there and having dinner. Yeah. And then Sunday, I went and saw my husband's parents because he's not here, so we went and saw them. And we were later getting back from there, so by the time we got back from there, I still needed to come home and cook dinner. That is one thing I do find that I struggle with with being on my own quite a lot is if we're out for the day, yeah, is coming home and actually cooking a dinner. Like yeah. if you know a dinner's a roughly a dinner takes what half an hour. Is yeah, what most dinners take yeah. wrong foot sausage. Um, yeah. And uh, so I do worry about cooking dinner, which is why mm. this week I did find it really helpful. I meal prepped on Monday. Yeah, that's good. 
and made loads of like dinners um a dinner that she won't particularly eat but i can eat it yeah and then i can just do her something else a load of like snacks and stuff so i can literally just go to the fridge and start heating things up that's a good idea yeah because if we're out for the day i struggle to i what well, i panic about yeah. them cooking her something decent to eat because i do get conscious that she sometimes maybe doesn't eat enough vegetables and stuff yeah. so this week i actually cheated and i cooked loads of veg oh, and had it in tupperwares in the fridge ah that's a good idea she loves carrots and baby sweet corn so we cooked oh. all of those but um yeah i do really tuesdays and wednesdays are our main days that are really structured because yeah, i know exactly same. what we're doing yeah same because we work and stuff they are too and monday i suppose because obviously Monday's my day at home when he does at school. I do all that, the food shop, the cleaning, then go to school and then we go straight swimming and then come home and have dinner. Yeah, I think if there's always something on, like yeah. you do swimming every week. Yeah. Like that's the good thing about her swimming is the swimming we were at to previously, it stopped Yeah. all the time for like half terms and stuff and this yeah. and that. Whereas this, the swimming we're at now doesn't stop. No, that's good. It literally stops for Christmas and I think a week in the summer, oh, which okay. three weeks out of the year that's isn't good. too bad. Immediately, we stop. haven't been for three weeks, which has thrown us out massively. Mm. Where I've had pneumonia, yeah. I haven't the whole like breathing in around the pools. We I've really struggled with yeah. it, so we haven't been. But um, we're gonna go tomorrow. Yeah, oh, that's good. And that'll yeah. hopefully keep <laughs> kick us back into <laughs> routine. That parent that ends up at A and E because my child's got a pee in their nose or their yeah. ear. Or I picked her up from nursery the other day, and they're like, "Oh, she's." Tried to stick beads up her nose and in her ears, and she'd stuck tissue paper down her nappy. Oh God! <laughs> I've got the daintiest child ever. Like she's yeah. quite cute and small. Took her to a ballet class. It's oh. not for her. Oh, is it not? No. More street dance, do you reckon? Or Mars wants to go to rugby um. on a Saturday. He's gonna start when he's back. He's gonna start taking her to rugby tots oh on the God, Saturdays that he's home. Rugby tots. I'm not even there was a this thing. thing we can start from two. Oh so he's going to take her to rugby tops because we feel like that might be better for yes. her than uh, the daintiness of ballet. Yes, no, I was never a ballet child. I, I was did little. ballet, but then my mum got scared that it caused eating disorders and I stopped and did okay. tap modern and street. Oh, oh and ballroom. Uh, I like ballroom. I found all my trophies the other day. Uh, I've got them all in my mum's loft actually, my trophies from dancing. It's like, oh, good. I used to be good at something. <laughs> I need to find my trampoline ones. They're proper trophies. Yeah. Like actual, like, uh, my dance ones aren't like that big, but my trampoline mm. ones are like oh. trophies. You have to put them in your loft somewhere. Or in your parents' loft. loft. They're not in my loft. No. Actually, we know I don't go in my loft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cats. Yeah, it's cats. Cats. I do find on the nights that she doesn't have a bath, mm. throws her off. Yes, they they like a bath. But do you feel like that's the the wheels in motion for bedtime? Yeah, we try we try and have a bath every day, but we don't wash his hair every day. No, I don't wash her hair every day. I so tend to wash it every other. I do Eli's. I'll probably wash her hair tomorrow or Wednesday because I always wash it after swimming. Yeah, so like we'll do Eli's tonight because obviously he's got swimming and I hate that smell of chlorine. Oh, it stinks. But but I think that's just being a hairdresser. And obviously, I only wash my hair once a week unless she's yeah. got something like I rinse her hair every day. Yeah. And sometimes like she got cow in it the other day, but I didn't want to wash it, so I put conditioner in her hair and rinsed the conditioner out. Yeah. She was really poorly and snotty and gross, and it was a mixture of snot and cow pole. Oh, and... lovely. Yeah, I just, I just feel like when you've got a girl toddler, no one tells you this. Like, boy toddlers have got short hair. Yeah. Most of them have got shorter hair. But when a girl's covered in snot and mm -hmm. cow pole and there's just hair and snot everywhere, like the morning we had to have a bath. Uh, and I think yeah. that made her a bit like, what are we doing in the bath? Because there was so much snot everywhere, I was like, we have to have a bath. Oh no! She quite likes a shower now. Sometimes she likes a fresh shower. shower. Oh really? That's good. Eli hates it. But I think, have a shower. I think it's swimming that's done it. Mm. So after swimming, yeah. there's showers at the gym. So we will shower. Yeah. Every time at the gym, which I think is hilarious because obviously I'm naked in the shower and she can open the door. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. No, and there are like mum and baby like changing rooms where the shower's like built into the changing room but there's oh, only okay. three of them and uh, it's actually harder to get her changed in one of those than it is wet. the whole thing's wet whereas when mm. we're in the gym and we go into the main changing room yeah it, it's actually easier she's not contained but it's easier <laughs> she usually just sits in a locker i've lost her before and she just opens the locker door like <laughs> i'm here mummy 
But yeah, we try to go out every day as well. I think yeah. that makes a massive difference. Oh yeah, you can tell. If Eli's been in all day. Oh my god, you can tell it literally. And the thing is, like, he's really obsessed with his phone, like YouTube and stuff. Like, so if we're in all day, he's wants to be on his phone all day. And we're like, no, you can't. Be yeah, on she your would phone watch Billy on repeat if we were in all day. Yeah, so it's just like we try and get out and at least get a bit of fresh air. Well, now that the sun's coming out and stuff, hopefully. We'll be able to get out a little bit more because obviously it'd be nice weather. Yeah. So. When I was poorly, I cheated quite a lot. Yeah. I went to the gym. Did not go to the gym, but then mm. got a crash. So uh, I would drop her off for an hour so she yeah. could go do that, and I could just sit and have a coffee and die. Yeah. Die. Die quietly. I wanted to wear my pajamas to the gym, but I didn't. Or or some days if I'm not feeling well mm. and we don't want to do anything, well, the gym's got a soft play. Yeah. My gym membership is worth every penny I pay for it. It's expensive. Don't get me mm. wrong. And if I ever hit a financial point where I had to give it up it would be the first thing to go. Yeah. But, uh, with my husband being away so much, it is yeah, the one it's that is my my little luxury. Like, I would give up anything. Well, not that I own many designer handbags, but I would <laughs> give up, I would literally give up shopping to keep my gym membership. Yeah, that's good. Um, so, yeah, we'll just go to the soft play there. I think getting out is a massive thing. She loves... Don't lick Anna's floor. She loves being outside. I think she's tired. <laughs> Yeah, why did she why did she lick the floor because she's weird we were out in Gunwall the other day and we were just walking along and she licked the wall oh god are you tired I'm cuddled. I don't know what you've done with your dummy <laughs> in the car in the car it's I know. not in the car you did bring it in you, you were sat there you can find it <laughs> We've got two dummies left, so we've got. Well, and then you get rid of them. It's not in there, darling. I think I am, because I, I always said after this lot, I ordered this lot, they come in sets of three. I yeah. wouldn't order any more. It's hard, isn't it? I can't remember when I got rid of Eli's dummy. But the problem is, so this is my problem. It all lies. My husband gets back in two weeks. Yeah. He's then got a week to plan whether we go on holiday or not this year. So if we're going on holiday the first half of this year. Oh, she's got paint. Should we have to open Yeah, she can open things. You'd be surprised. Um, if we're going on holiday the first half of this year, I'm not getting rid of her dummies. Yeah. I'm not going to potty train her. No. Because I do not want to be stuck on a 10 hour flight with a, dumb, with a child that's half potty trained without a dummy. Yeah. But if we're not going to go to like December, January, yeah. I'll potty train her in the summer and get rid yeah. of her dummies. We did it as well. Like when we first started giving realised dummies, he was only allowed them at night time when he can come in and nap, so he wasn't allowed them in the day at all. Yeah. And that's a good way of starting it. Yeah, like that's what she's turkey. supposed to be doing. No, thank you. You just gotta be strong with it. It's hard. Yeah, it, I've always been a bit strong. because I always felt guilty giving up breastfeeding with her. Even though she was like 19 months old. Yeah, you did really well. Um, her dummy then became her comfort, and that's why she tends to have two. She has yeah. one to suck with and one to play with because she used to play with my nipple quite a lot. Yeah. And it's like I know she shouldn't have a bottle. She should be drinking her milk out of a beaker, but because she only has her bottles at bedtime. Yeah. Oh, Um. I'd let her, I'm a bit more lenient with her having a bottle because it's her comfort for bedtime. Yeah. And I always feel mean because I sucked my thumb till I was like 14. Not that I'm going to let her have a dummy till she's like 14, but <laughs> no. Do you feel mean taking away their main sources of comfort? Like she's yeah. a terrible sleeper as it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then don't, that's what I mean. It might be a good thing for you to be. To start with, just don't let her have it in the day. Yeah, that's what we're and it's really good at it. Yeah. It's, it is hard, but it's good if one of you is good at it and one of you aren't. So do it when he's here. Yeah. Because then it, yeah. Is, so it will we make you. Gave up breastfeeding, like she, he had to be here. Yeah. It's a good idea because when with Eli, when he was younger, to get him to like, sleep for the night, we would put him to bed. So when he was little, he would have a bedtime routine. And so when he was like, I think when he started sleeping with was 12 weeks. And then from that point, he would go upstairs at a certain time in his car and he would cry because he wanted to be picked up and I hated it. But Connor was like, no, just leave him, he's fine. We know he's fine, we can see him on the camera, there's nothing wrong, he just wants to be picked up. As soon as you pick him up, he'll stop. And luckily for me, if he wasn't there, I would have been picking him up all the time. Yeah, this is the problem so, I have. So, you can't open it, it's Eli's. Do you know what you want? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be stuck. The problem I've got at the moment, she hasn't been very well, so she's been coming into bed with me. Yeah. Which, when they're not well, is fine because yeah. I think, like she just wants to cuddle. Yeah, definitely. But now she's getting better. She's still quite snotty, but now she's getting better. Mm. We're going through that. It'll be a couple of weeks now where she wants to get into bed with me. Yeah. 
But for the first few nights, I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then it gets to the point where I'm like, though I want to go back to sleep quite quickly, I actually want to go sleep in starfish in my own bed. Because yeah. though you are only this big, you take up a hell of a lot do. of space. Eli does. Oh, she sleeps sideways. Yeah, Eli does that. To the yeah. point where the other day, I actually considered getting a double bed for her bedroom. Oh. So I could sleep in bed with her, then like roll out and go <laughs> yeah. back into my bed. Yeah. But then when my husband's home and she ends up in bed with us because she's poorly or whatever, I'm then the one that sleeps at the end of the bed like a dog. Because she sleeps in where I sleep, he's sleeping in his side, and I'm like, fine, I'll sleep on the floor, but she's still, yeah. got, she's still in a cot. Yeah. So, so I'm when, not going to sleep in that. No, when she gets into her toddler bed, you can, you can lay on that or a single I have bed. to bait it changing, so her cot changes into a toddler bed. Oh, yeah, ours did that. Yeah. And, uh... I don't know, people are saying that they took the sides off and their kids magically slept better, but I would have to get another stair gate to go on her bedroom door because... It it depends. We didn't take Eli's sides off until he started climbing out of his cot. She can't do it, she's too short. Oh, uh, okay. That's quite good. She tries, she really tries. Yeah. But she's just a little bit too short. Because um, we put a stair gate actually on his room. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah, so he, he would have put... I, I panic about having it at the top of the stairs in case they lean on it and then it falls Yeah, down. we don't actually scares the hell out of our parents. We don't actually have a stair gate on our stairs at all. No. You've got at the bottom we've got the door and at the top we don't have one and she's never been an idiot. No. Been a tip down the stairs. No. And I do think it makes it mm. a little bit safer in that respect because yeah. she knows how to save like she knows it for her, it's easier for her to go down the stairs on her bum. And yeah. She, she like she's really good at going. Not that I would ever leave her on the supervised no. going down the stairs, but she's a lot mm. easier at getting down the stairs. Yeah. But I would definitely put a stair gate on her yeah bedroom that's what i would recommend because it scares scares me because i think if they lean on it and then all oh, like you know if you're taking washing down you can end up tripping i just think it's dangerous yeah so we've stairs. actually got we've got one in our kitchen and that was never because of her but that was because of the dog yeah um but you don't have a kitchen door so mm -hmm. but we've got a retractable one yeah your one's good actually we used to have a traditional one I, oh my god the amount of times used to stub my freaking toes mm. so we got a when she was younger she had a doorway bouncer yeah so we got a retractable one. Oh, that's so good. much better yeah but that is my fear if we put a retractable one at the top of the stairs if she leant on it it does go taut but if she leant on it and it hadn't clicked in place properly mm. she would just fall underneath it yeah that's oh, just oh it gives me nightmares that does but yeah that's what we did we put it on the top of this on his bedroom because he would always call us when he was awake anyway, or we'd wake up before yeah, him. Yeah, if, so. like, if I wake up before her, I can hear her going, Mummy, yeah. Mummy, It's quite sweet, really. Actually, the first few nights, I was like, oh, look, she's staying, it's so cute. And I'm like, oh, good lord, I'm changing my name to Gertrude. <laughs> to Gertrude. <laughs> I do think oh. bedtimes with parents, though, is such a, a topic that gets people talking about. Like, everyone's got their own. <laughs> Like, I'm not strong-willed enough to do the whole cry out loud thing. No, I wasn't. If it wasn't for Connor, I wouldn't yeah. be. So. I think if my husband was here more, maybe. But yeah. he, she goes to bed a lot better for him, though. She's going to go away. Well, she wants to go to the garden. Oh, she'll go in the garden if she wants. Um, your coat's upside down, sweetie. Whatever. Um, yeah, so, so he can put her to bed. Yeah. Say the night. Sing five at first. Say the night and walk out of the room. Yeah. No problem. If I did that... Mm. It is easier for me. So what I now do is I sit in her bedroom floor on her little squidgy pillow. Yeah. Get a pillow, make myself a bro, yeah. take that up there, and I'll do my emails. <laughs> That's a good idea. If you're doing something, the thing is, she knows. She knows. She's like, well, mummy won't leave me. So they're clever. That's why. Oh, she's clever. She is so clever. Oh, you found it. Outsmarted by a two year old on a daily basis. Oh, I know they are, they're very clever. But this is why I don't think, because of the way our routine works, this mm. is why I'm not ready to have another one yet. No, I, it's hard, like, because I always said I want like a four year age gap, and then I'm actually glad that we'll have a longer one, I think. Yeah, I think I want. I want her to be at school. Yeah, I don't know how, you know, I take my hat off to any of you that are listening right now that have kids like two or three under the age of four. Like me and Zoe, there's 14 months between us. I could not do that. Like, what is wrong with you? So I've got, I've got a brother that's two years older than me. Yeah. And then she would have had me and then 14 months later I had Zoe. I had a mum in at work the other oh, day. Oh, God. I had a 10 month old. Yeah. So I was cutting her 10 month old's hair mm. and she had a week old. Shut up. So she did not waste any time. They do say you're very fertile after having a baby as well, so just be careful. You guys are near them at that point. Oh, that's what I way. Because when you've had a baby, they say to you, like, oh, so. Go, what got away six weeks. Yeah, so. like, what contraception do you want? I was like, love, he ain't going to me for a long time. Oh, I'm a con that's not, not enough contraception, it's giving birth. Yes, I'm not doing that for any long period of time at the moment. Like I went for my smear test the other day, oh, and I, I finally had my first ever smear test. I was. 25 when I was pregnant, so when yeah. I was first eligible for one, I never had one, then I've chickened out for the rest of it. I've still. 
It's good to go get them done, by the it way. It is good to go get them done, and I am glad I went. The nurse was so lovely. I'm not yeah, going to say it was a pleasant experience. Oh, it's not. It was not. And anyone no. that says it's absolutely lying. It's not. But it's it's. Could but the lie. nurse was so lovely, and she couldn't find my cervix. She was like, "Oh, you've definitely got a mum cervix because it's pointing the." I've always had a tilted cervix, but apparently mum was like pointing completely the wrong way. She had to like get a smaller, longer. Oh, no. thing to have a look but she got there and she did it and she was so nice about it and it was a little bit painful I'm not gonna lie but it is. she I think having a nice nurse about it made it they are normally nice they're nice they try and make conversation with you oh bless her she was so lovely it's gotta be good. such an awkward job as well oh, like I hate it. whilst you're laying there she's like oh how's life <laughs> I know it's like um okay spiffing I don't know um <laughs> oh but no it, it's worth it it could save your life so you know yeah Oh god. <laughs> but, but yeah, oh, it's just hilarious. But that, yeah, no. She was like, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I went for my speed test and she was like, oh, so what contraception are you want? I'm not actually on it. No. And. You're dangerous. I'm actually your life on the edge. Jesus. No, we use uh, other protection methods. Oh, that's yes, yes, yes. And uh, people get really funny about that, that I'm not on anything. You know, this is your choice, isn't it? Apparently, I'm slightly crazy when I'm on the bill. Mm -hmm. But I haven't really into it lately, mm -hmm. only because I've had a lot of issues going on and hence why it. I actually went and got a smear test done because I've been having a lot of problems. And yeah. Stuff. You can now get a really low hormone version of the pill. Yes, I see. Is, this called, is it called Hannah? Oh, yeah, Hannah. Uh, there's various brands, but one of them is called Hannah. It's like, and you can actually just get that in the shop. Yeah. Can't you? But like, you can get them prescribed as well. Oh, and they're, okay. considering the ones when we were on when we were like 15, 16, mm. these are a lot less hormone than that. Oh, okay. And mm. it's something I've considered just yeah. to see. I want to go through the doctors first and see if there's anything going on there and yeah, a few other things opinion. sorted, but you couldn't pay me to have the coil. Oh no, definitely not. You couldn't pay me to have oh. the implant. No, I always wanted that, but then I'm like, nah. Nah. Mm. I'm not finding the injection. Oh, I'd forget the injection in the bum. Yeah, so that so that is what we use, is that one. And to be fair, it's alright because they only have to do it for three months. But so I'll forget to go get it. Yeah, so I've done this before and then it's and then so what happens if you forget so you get, I think it's every 12 weeks, yeah, so every three months, but you actually have until 14 weeks. So they give you that two week leeway. Yeah. And then if you forget, you then have to wait for another two weeks. You can't do anything for two weeks, otherwise it, it's not in your system and stuff. But yeah. Yeah, I'm bad enough at remembering to ring the vets every three months to get my dog's flea treatment, let alone actually getting myself to a doctor. Yeah, to, yeah so that's why I'm not on that. And the pill, there was only like two pills that ever really worked for me and mm. They made me look, and like you know like when I came off them, I came off them before I got married. Yeah. And like it was like a, a weight was lifted. I know, I know what you mean. Like I yeah. turned around to my husband one day and I was like, I think I love you a bit more. <laughs> but they were they reckon this is completely off subject to our routines, but I just got whilst it's in my mind. Yeah. They reckon that a lot of really reasons people are getting divorced so quickly after marriage mm. is obviously people are on the pill from such young ages. Like yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was on the pill since I was like fifteen. Yeah. Like 14, 15, I was on birth control. Mm. Mainly for acne to start off with, and then obviously yeah. it goes on to other things. And people are staying on the pill for like a good 10, 15 years, yeah. getting married, coming off the pill because they want to have a child. Mm. And because the pill can make you such a different person because of the hormones, when they're coming off the pill, they're realising that actually the bloke they've just married isn't their type. Oh, snap. Yeah, it's happening. I've been reading... Oh, I've read too much. How bizarre. As you can tell, when I lay on my daughter's floor, putting her to bed, I just end up reading and stuff. But yeah, it's to do with this whole hormone balance. So actually, you've married the man that... You think you think you want, but when you have the pill, you realise that that's not what you're attracted to. Oh my god! How weird. Yeah. Oh wow. I learn something every day. Every day is school day. Every day is school day. But yeah, so <laughs> scary, eh? Hey? Yeah, that is scary. I know. Mm. But yeah, anyone that has got two children under the age of like three or two, that's all we're gonna say. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know people are like, why are they both clapping? <laughs> I know people that have got like four kids, it's like, no. how do you make no. out that? No. Ever? How do you do anything? No. You tell your sausage. Should we do some recommendations? Yeah. Recommendations! So what we think would help with the recommendations, what you think might help with a bit more of a routine, I suppose. Yeah, so uh, what would I recommend? I think one of our nighttime things and how she immediately knows that it's bedtime is we play white noise in her bedroom. Yes, white noise is amazing. Um, so hers is actually through her monitor. Oh, okay. It does, it lasts about half an hour, 40 minutes. Yeah. And she'll have that one until I go to bed pretty much. <laughs> so, and that always gets her in like the <coughs> bedtime. Yeah, so like, 
funny is it? So yeah, so she knows that spreads out. And also we've got, I've had it since she was a newborn. It's mm. like an egg light, I think it's of Amazon. Yeah. And it's like rechargeable and portable. Yeah. So like when I was feeding her when she was a lot younger, I had it in our room, but now she, I think, I don't think she likes the dark. Okay. So yeah. she has it on, it's a really low setting and it's on yeah. warm white. So it's oh. not like the whole blue light thing and stuff. Yeah. And she just has that in the corner. Oh. I don't have to explain a room. I've got a really old house. So if you imagine where a chimney breast should be in a bedroom, yeah. in a room, her yeah. bed's up against that. Okay, yeah. So it's just around that little corner. So oh. it's just a, a light haze. So yeah. she's got a light. So her room's really dark. Mm. Not really. Dark enough and cosy because it's the yeah. warm white. And then she's got the white noise on. That, to me, is how she knows it's bedtime. Yeah, and the one we had that when Eli was younger, and we had an app, so you can get one on your phone. I think it was yeah. our photographer that showed us, We've and got it's an brilliant. App. I would definitely say a white app. Yeah, everything. Well, we had an app. We had the sheep thing, was it? You oh, yeah. The sheep. He's apparently very good. I never had him, but I've heard good things about him. And then we had the crib we've got, mm. the next to me crib. Um, that came with a cloud, a snooze cloud. Oh, okay, yeah. Which I actually preferred. The cloud was better than you in. Yeah. Because Ewan didn't last long at all, but the cloud did. But they've both got the red glow to them, which is supposed okay. to be really good. Yeah. For like sleep and stuff. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. That's quite, yeah, because that is a very good one. I like that one. The one I say, I haven't actually ever used it, but I've heard good <coughs> things about like all my clients that wear, bless you. Um, it's one of those grow clock things. So if they're older and you want them. My friends have got them. Yeah, I've never used it because I've never need like we're quite lucky if I needed to. But if they wake up early, so what it does is it, you set a time for yourself. So that when the moon's up, you say to them they're not allowed to come out their bedroom. Yeah. And then when the sun comes up, that means it's morning and you can come out your bedroom, but you can set it to a time that you want them to. And I've heard really good things about that. My goddaughters, the uh, cheeky mm -hmm. little buggers they are, <laughs> the younger one worked yeah. out how to set it herself. Oh no. So she came out of her room like, Mummy, look, the sun's up. She'd done well, it. Maybe that's not a good idea. They are really good though. The elder one is really good with it. Yeah. The younger one's just too clever for her own good. They they, they both have them and they're, yeah. what are they, six and five? Yeah. Six and five and they really like them. I just had, like, we're very lucky, like, touch wood. I can Eli, imagine her needing one. Yeah, Eli just doesn't wake up. Like, he loves his seat this morning and he woke up at eight o'clock. So we had half an hour to go for school. I know, he loved, and on Sunday, because we were out till late, obviously, he didn't get up till 10 to 10. Oh my God, I know. So me and Connor wake up at like nine o'clock, like, oh, oh this is the Do you know what, there's one I have seen, and yeah. again, I don't know if you would need it, I potentially would when she gets older, and mm -hmm. it's like, it's similar to a grow clock, but it's bigger. Okay. And it's got like, you can set the whole morning routine on it and they oh. have to tap it when they've done it. So like get dressed, clean your teeth, have your oh, breakfast. Oh, that's good. I think yeah, it's made like by that. the same people that make. That's expensive. It's not actually, it's, it's not as bad as you, I said, I swear I sent it to Emma the other day. Oh, I'll have a good. look for you. I yeah. swear it's not as expensive as you think it would be. Because that might help you like, because he's very lazy. And then, it, yeah, you like, do they have to, it's got like the time on it in the middle and then you yeah. can like set it to the things they've got to do and then they tap. Once they've done it, so like you have got yeah. dressed. Oh, it's a bit like is that with autism. That might be a good thing for an autistic child actually, because they eat, we used to use vision boards with Eli. Yeah, I remember so it's them like in your fridge. Yeah, like now and next, we're gonna do this now and then, then we're gonna do this, and he liked that. So that might actually be. Thought we used to do haircuts. You used to have to have a picture of me, like. Yeah. Like, you don't need to see me. Oh no, yeah, we like, like haircut day, we have a little picture of Lauren on his little board. We still got that all upstairs actually. Bless him. I'm so glad we're over that now. I used to come around, you used to scream at me. I know, bless him. No, you don't need caffeine. <laughs> but yeah, so that's our recommendation. So that's our this recommendation week. for this week. So next week will probably be our last one for this series. Yeah. That's number eight. I was thinking that actually. Yeah, so we'll make sure it's a good one next week. Yes. And then let us know what you want. <laughs> yeah, because we will be back. Nice. You can't get rid of us that easily. We will be back. But yeah, thank you for watching. Follow all our social medias. They'll be in the bios of both of the um, YouTube and Spotify. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye. Bye.